Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So there was actually an update. We're in 20.5. How fun. Um, now what's very special about this is they have actually added something new. If I can find it, there it is. It is the Tesla Roadster in space. There it is. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's very nice. It's very red, it's very Tesla Roadster, and I'm sure that there are copyright implications here that Universe Sandbox just really doesn't care about at all. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, this Tesla Roadster is speeding away from Earth, as you can probably see, but what if, for some reason, uh, the, the laws of physics broke, and the Tesla Roadster stopped in its tracks. Boop. What's going to happen now? <coughs> well, apparently I'm going to sneeze about it and the video is going to... No, I'm joking. Um, there is me sneezing. However, let's go ahead and see what would happen if the Tesla Roadster actually did fell, uh, fall onto Earth. Uh, we'll go out a good distance. We'll go out... Mm, Maybe 100,000 kilometers. I think that may be good. And we'll let it fall down. We'll see if it does any real damage. The Tesla Roadster is a bit over 1,000 kilograms, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, 1,305 kilograms. It's going to gain speed relatively quickly. Going closer and closer to Earth as it gains more and more speed. And it looks like... We're actually getting a pretty good speed. This makes it the fastest car by far. We're at four kilometers per second. And this would ruin your day if it fell on you. Uh, quite literally, it would not be very fun. Um, it looks like we're actually going to hit 10 kilometers per second before we hit the ground. It's getting very close, which increases the speed at which it increases in speed. Yes, that's how squaring works. And it looks like 11 kilometers per second is going to be our impact speed. Of course, the entire thing would be absolutely obliterated by the atmosphere. Maybe a tiny bit of it would survive. I mean, I've heard that Tesla's are built pretty well. That's, that's a joke, by the way. I actually don't know what the... Uh, Effects would be on a car being dropped through the atmosphere at 11 kilometers per second, but I'm assuming it's pretty bad. Uh, and it has struck Earth. Let's see if there is any real effect. Do we have a shockwave of any sort? Do we have any, any sign that anything happened? Nope, not at all. So now we get a little bit ridiculous. Let's make the uh, Tesla Roadster fly at Earth much faster. Did I lose it? Nope, there it is. So, let's stop it in its tracks because it's time to destroy the world with a Tesla Roadster uh, like Elon Musk was planning. What's really going to happen is it's going to fling around the sun and get shot back at Earth uh, at the uh, speed of light, of course, uh, which totally is possible and is not something that would never actually happen. And here we go, at milliseconds per second, slow-mo, watching this car go way too fast. Let's check on Earth, see how Earth is doing. And it looks like we're about to impact. Do, do. And we have a few seconds until we say goodbye. Goodbye, Roadster. It was nice knowing you. Now that it has struck the planet at light speed, let's see if we have any real effects. No, it doesn't appear we had any effects. Um. I do know a few ways to do this, but they would go into kind of what we did in the last episodes. 
So instead, we're going to make an absolutely massive Tesla Roadster. Um, we're going to have to take advantage of increased mass because when it comes to firepower in this game, it kind of comes down to speed and mass, which is basically the formula for determining the energy something has. Um, so I guess I guess we're fine. Velocity and mass. Um, so we're going to bring that velocity up to let's go a hundred kilometers per second, and we're going to make the roadster. Uh, why don't we do a thousand times uh, more massive? Now this is a very large Tesla Roadster. This is a very, very large Tesla Roadster. But I don't think it really compares to anything else in space right now. What's its radius? 20 meters. It is now 20 meters across and it is moving in at 100 kilometers per second. It gives it quite a bit of force, but compared to an entire planet, it's like a mosquito. But we do actually see an impact in fragments being thrown out by the collision. This is our first noticeable impact, but it wasn't enough to really, uh, really do too much. I mean, the world's temperature is dropping because there's no sun. Um, and the Tesla Roadster was not enough to stop that trend. So let's go ahead and raise the mass of the Tesla Roadster by 1 million times. And this is what the Gigafactory is actually going to be for. Don't let Musk, uh, don't let Musk trick you. He is actually going to be destroying the world with a massive Tesla Roadster. There was just, it was just a test. That's all it was. So let's go at 100 kilometers per second again, which obviously that amount of speed is ludicrous. And let's go ahead and make this 1 million times larger, which brings it to 200 meters across now. Now this is a thousand times the mass of the last one. Will the crater be a thousand times the size of that probably not uh, but we'll see how the simulation handles it and here it goes this is one big Tesla Roadster um, not not the not like the size of a country or anything but size of a very small island <laughs> Okay, here we are. It was nice knowing you. And impact. So we've had a collision, it looks like, in the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a few bits of fragment coming out. The shockwave is traveling. How big of a crater are we going to have? Ooh, it's actually quite large. It's spreading out. It's actually hit mainland Mexico. We've got the little uh, <clears throat> fragments aren't actually really doing much damage, but they may come back around and hit the earth. Nope, they didn't. So it looks like compared to the last one, this has a noticeably larger um, amount of damage, but I think that 1 billion times... Uh, the mass of a Tesla Roadster is going to be what we need to really make a difference. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros later, it is now two kilometers across. Um, how can I scale that to something? Well, two kilometers across means that one of these screws here is probably bigger than me um yeah, if this is two kilometers then half is one kilometer and i'd say that the wheel is a third of that so a third of a kilometer so 300 meters i'd say this is one third of the wheel here uh so that's a hundred meters and then I'd say one of these is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd say like five to ten. Five to ten. So like 
Actually, each screw is about 20 meters across, so that's much larger than me. That's bigger than the room I'm in. So j that's just giving you some scale on how large this is. Uh, it's a very large car. So now we're going to go ahead and go to motion, give it 100 kilometers per second, and let's go. Now the Tesla Roadster is going to be getting to the size of some larger islands. Um, it's no joke, and we're actually going to be landing near Hawaii. I don't know, not even close. Hawaii is over there. <laughs> okay, well, it's about... Eh, no, it's closer to the United States than Hawaii. I was about to say it's about the same distance from the United States and Hawaii, but no, it isn't. Not at all. Um, let's see how this does. It's a very large Tesla Roadster. We can tell because when it enters the atmosphere... It actually sticks through the atmosphere quite a bit and it's not really that far from the ground just because of its size and because of its very streamlined and effective shape courtesy of Tesla we will see we have a lot more fragments this time around let's check the temperature of the world and see if it's going up at all still dropping um, we have a lot more fragments this time, and the crater is ballooning outwards much faster. Um, that shockwave is reaching all the way across the continental United States. The fragments have escaped, and it looks like we just have a larger crater yet again. So I guess it's time to bring out the big T. Trillion. If we make the Tesla Roadster one trillion times the size of a Tesla Roadster, we are certain to have some sort of a response. Okay, this is a very large Tesla Roadster. It's now 20 kilometers across, but... I'm not even sure if that's enough. Uh, let's just... There we go, 180 kilometers across. I'm feeling better about that. Um, and let's go ahead and bring its motion up to speed. And let's just go to 1,000 kilometers per second because I don't want to drag this video out too much. Um, okay, now we have a very formidable enemy against Earth the death roadster it is ready to drift through the atmosphere and smack into the planet we can actually tell it's really large because compared to earth it actually looks pretty big now yeah yeah it's pretty darn big um i don't know if it's big enough to really destroy the yeah this is gonna destroy the world i think this has got what it takes uh so we've got the world's surface temperature here and on impact there we go we are now hitting almost a thousand degrees the tesla roadster smashes into the planet sending out debris in every direction some of which is going to fall back down onto the surface and cause even more damage hopefully that crater is pretty impressive the heat from this impact is certainly going to do a lot uh, the shockwave is a blinding white and the crater is covering half the globe as the localized heat travels over the surface and melts it. It looks like that's it. That's what was needed to destroy the world. Thanks, Elon. Thanks. It actually looks like that we've destroyed half the world. The other half has simply lost all of its water and life. Um, will the entire planet melt, though? That's the question. Do we have any little ruptures with magma? Doesn't look like it. And it looks like we have a tiny bit of water, right? No, I thought I saw a tiny bit of water in a trench somewhere. Maybe not. Um, when it comes to it, I think that the Earth just has to cool down now. Which, yeah, this is what's happening. So, that was pretty interesting. I guess I will see you all. Yeah, there is some. There's actually some ice, which is weird. Um, but 
just because it's the average surface uh, temperature doesn't mean it's the entire planet's surface temperature. We also have some green over here still. Hmm. Well, I will see you all next time now that we have actually destroyed the world with the Tesla Roadster, because why not? Bye. Oof, I just froze the earth. Man, that is a very, very visible impact crater. Um, especially when the planet is shiny and frozen. You can really see the amount of damage done. Yeah.